Guys, we got a really deep, vulnerable video for you today. I want to address some comments that I've been reading uh, lately. Uh, a recent video went pretty viral, but kind of for the wrong reasons. Rather than the focusing like of that topic in the video was a more about, you know, my hijab covering being a muslim woman and like how can we trust you if you don't show us i want to see your hair and you know and i get that a lot so let's get into that let me let me share and be vulnerable with you guys about this and there's this one comment oof yeah from sarah meador said listen lady you seem well versed in herbal hair care but you would be a lot more credible if you didn't hide your hair all the time. For all I know, you could be bald. <laughs> what do you say to that? A lot of you guys have my back and I appreciate it because I'd be reading the comments. I'd be seeing you guys, you know, who really are there for me. I get what you're saying and I respect everyone's point of view and where they're coming in because you know how I approach Hennessook. This brand is my baby and I approach it with the care and love to all of you wherever you guys are at. You know, it's, this is not about me. The bigger picture isn't necessary. What about all the women? So so let me say this, all the, all the people who decide to cover their hair, and it's not just Muslims. There are people who just feel like they want to do that because of any other reasons that they may have, right? They may choose to do so, and it's not just Muslims. That means that you're kind of almost saying, I should just be like everybody else. And why are we excluding a certain group of women? What about all those women who decide to choose that? Like we're so inclusive and we're so progressive because the truth is we're not, to be quite honest. Everyone's gonna have their opinion. Everyone's gonna like wanna tear someone down or not be happy about blah, 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 blah. It, it's part of life and I get that. I'm going to always be all inclusive, even when I myself may not agree with it because I have my own personal views. Of course I do, you know, like, you can see and presume that, oh, she probably, you know, practiced Islam and she likes being Muslim. Well, yeah, because that's what I chose when I was 17, I became Muslim. And that's a path that I chose. But never once will I ever put that on you. You know, I want you to be with me. That's what I want. And we can all be together and we can be all winning and we could all be enjoying the knowledge that we can get from different people. We don't have to be all the same. Why, why, <laughs> why would you want that? How boring is that? That's not the life I'm living. That's not the henna soap. That's not the woman behind it. It's not all of you. Your faces, your beautiful faces, your hair. And if you choose to think I'm bald, I mean, that's up to you. That's on you. I'm not. And, you know, I don't want to be bald. But if I chose to be bald, couldn't I be bald if I wanted to? At the end of the day, who cares? Really, we are in this together. You know my energy. If you're not for it, I'm cool with that. If you're for it, I'm, I'm down with that too. It's about understanding other people and respecting them even when you don't agree. So look into that, look into the bigger picture. You know, that's gonna be my wisdom to you guys. So let, let me explain a few things though. Let me share some wisdom with you guys though. Um, and again, if you don't agree, that's fine. I respect you. I'll ask for you is your respect, that's it. So why is it to comment these things? Well, first of all, for you to make a comment like that about hijab is again, excluding a particular woman and group of people who decide to cover. Shoot, men might decide to do that too. It's open and to anyone. And sometimes it's religious reasons. Sometimes it's just that they wanna protect their energy. There are so many reasons why people wanna cover their hair and you may not even know maybe somebody is even going through cancer treatment so in general i know i'm being a little dramatic with some of this stuff and i and i'm not trying to downplay that you're not specifically saying that you're i'm a hijabi a muslim woman in the natural hair industry but you're excluding a group and that's not gonna make me back down or anything like that and it's not gonna make me weak and be like oh i have to show you my hair and why would we presume that someone who decides to wear hijab maybe doesn't take care of their hair. Maybe, I don't know. Every, every person that wears hijab doesn't mean that they're all the same. The Muslim population is in the millions, by the way. So I don't know what 
the next person does to the other all i know is that that's a wrong presumption for sure like doesn't take care of the hair obviously i care for my hair i know what i do i know my industry my daughter's in cosmetology school she's a hijabi too and we are representing we are making a change a difference in a community and that's what's most important it's not about cloth on our hair or oh but we we want to be who we are authentically we don't want to change how could you trust and believe in me if i was that weak <laughs> and that enabled to just be like oh, we'll take it off because i want to make a couple of bucks what would you think of me then if we're talking about trustworthiness someone who bows down to accommodate other people all their life why would you trust a person like that and another important point since everyone claims to love henna and Ayurvedic herbs so much. Love the people that are involved in that process. Love the people where it's their land that it grows in. Egypt, Africa, in the Middle East, India. Mind you, even Hindu women cover up too, by the way. A lot of them do. And then you have Pakistan. You have so many countries where henna grows and women cover up. So you wanna take what you like and leave off the rest? How disrespectful is that? I and mean, when you think about it, come on, really? And most importantly, our customers are all the proof we need. I mean, look at them. Just look at how gorgeous these women are. They're representing, they're out there, they're doing the work, and they're sharing and being generous. They don't have to show you their hair either, actually. They don't have to do nothing that they don't want to do. They could be at home chilling and doing their thing. We're, we should be very grateful to the women in our community and the men that share their journey with us because yeah, there is definitely a lack of information, especially amongst brown and black people. We are trying to elevate, we're trying to next level this together as a community, um, but nobody is obligated to do anything, but our clients do, they show up, they really do. So I hope this gives you some insight. And my intention behind this video isn't, I don't want to make you feel bad, but at the same time, you're going to feel a little bad, especially the people who make comments like this. You should a little bit because it's your responsibility. The words you say, I don't care if they're online, in person, whatever. I made this video so those of you out there can learn some of this wisdom, can get to know me maybe a little bit better and see me for who I am. And maybe this might help you just reflect a little bit because Hannah Sook is just not a brand. We are elevating a whole community of people who are not being represented. Brown and black women and men and our Muslim women, hijabis who decide to cover up, people who are not being represented. We got you wherever and whoever you are. At the end of the day, we want all of you to be part of this community. We don't want to exclude anyone. We'll do our best to be inclusive and supportive of each other. And I'm gonna keep doing what I do with the hijab on. I've been, I've been Muslim since I was 17 years old. And I'm happy to have chosen this path. Uh, it's my path alone. And at the end of the day, only God's gonna judge me. So I'm gonna live my purpose. I'm gonna keep doing what I do. I just appreciate you guys. I know, I know who the real ones are. I see you guys. And the other ones, it's all good. You don't find me credible because of a piece of cloth. That's on you. Maybe something in this video can help you open up your eyes and ears and mind and heart a little bit more to the people that are not included in these things because it's not about hijab. It's about a deeper issue. But I want to say I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much. I seriously do. Even if you're not with me, for me, sending you like peace, love, blessings, all, all the good vibes because I believe in karma. That's for sure. So thank you. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys next time. Love you guys.